Hey teachers, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can remove select patterns that exist at the end of each name that are there due to rostering issues, um, such as underscore parentheses student dash the name of the middle school that end up existing on the end of every single student's name in one platform, such as Google Classroom, for instance. However, they're non-existent in your grade book over here where the names are just done normally. So this is a rostering issue that districts sometimes do to make it easier for them to understand which kids belong into which which um, learning management system. Sometimes they add in nicknames in one. Uh, sometimes they have gender pronouns. Sometimes they have, um, you know, remote or hybrid or COVID status, stuff like that. But long story short, we can now filter them out all at once. So the way we do that is well let me just show you what happens if we don't filter it out so if we go to grab data it's going to grab the names of the students followed by all that extra information with the underscore the student the middle school the abbreviation of what they are where they are all that good stuff so obviously this isn't going to transfer correctly into the gradebook where those elements don't exist the way we get rid of that is we go into the advanced settings and there's this thing called the pattern remover and it consists of two pieces one piece is where the pattern actually goes, and this is live. So anything I type in here automatically gets removed from any incoming data, and I'll show you in a minute what that looks like. And then we have the output verifying area where you can just see what ends up happening um, you know, without having to go back and forth. So what you want to do is you want to put in a sample name here that matches the pattern that we have in the gradebook. So essentially the kids right now in my Google Classroom have all this underscore parentheses, capital letter student, um, dash, MC, middle, EWR added onto the end of their names. So what I want to achieve is I want this part, which is the same for all of my students, to be deleted out of every single one of the student without me having to worry about it and you know do a million clicks. So what we need to do is we need to look at the first part of this pattern, which is underscore parentheses, student, and all that good stuff, and put it in here. And as soon as we start typing, immediately the pattern remover goes to work, and it shows you what will happen. So if we have incoming data from Google Classroom, that's John Smith underscore student, MC, all that stuff, with this pattern inputted here right now, it will turn it into simply John Smith. What's essentially happening is the pattern remover part of our software is starting to read the name and as soon as it encounters an area where it has a, uh, a matching pattern this one right here underscore stud for instance um, it just chops it it just cuts it right there and anything thereafter gets deleted away and that's why we're just left with john smith okay so now that this pattern is in here this is actually live i have seen it work with how my kids are named and i see that it will work so i can just go back and if I grab data now, it should remove all of this underscore student yada 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 immediately for me. And you can see it at work marvelously right here. All that underscore student stuff is now gone. And this will fill beautifully into my grade book. And there we go. That's it. Um, one thing to note, some districts have interesting things in here whoops let me get rid of that some some districts have unique id numbers in there so you might be thinking well if all the kids have a specific id number at the end of their name how in the world is the pattern going to be because i can't put in a pattern for all of them well this is the same way that you would do it so even if this kid had you know i id number or something in here you'll notice that it doesn't matter. It's already being filtered out because this is the earliest part that we've matched the pattern. Anything thereafter gets cut out. So we could, if this is your setup over here, let's say your kid is called something like this. Um, what do you think the pattern should be here? Well, the pattern starts with a parentheses followed by ID and the number, right? So parentheses, ID and the number. And that, that'll work. I don't even have to include the number itself, which might be separate or different for every single student. It should still work. You can even just go as far as to say just the number sign. Uh, well, if this is your setup, for example. All right. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, and hopefully this will help you um, transfer grades even quicker. All right. Enjoy. How do I stop this? That's always a thing. Oh, there it is.